Hey guys, uh, current energy check-ins for the weekend. As I said previously, I got a little announcement to make, which I made uh, a while ago, but I was gonna be leaving for a little bit, uh, a little bit meaning about two months. Uh, don't stress, videos will be here. I worked my ass off to put, uh, to pre-record mostly all of the videos. Hopefully I'll get them done, cause I'm, uh, I'm not quite done, but. Well, I am. I should be by now, because uh, normally I would be leaving yesterday. <laughs> uh, so yeah, as of yesterday, till close to the end of May, I'll be gone uh, doing my thing. But I'll still be with you, somehow. Keeping my eye on you, so behave. Don't, don't you think that, you know, you're, you're on your own here, because you're not. Uh, so yeah, I'll uh, probably touch on that more when I come back. I'll probably need a break when I come back. Uh, so we'll, we'll take it from there. Uh, hopefully if all the videos run through uh, the time that I come back, that'll be great. Somebody's gonna take care of that for me. I will not be with you um, in the, in the, um, <clears throat> the Friday videos until I come back pretty hard to do that. Uh, I may possibly be in this one. Um, I should be somewhere in an airport in South America by now, but uh, we'll see how things go and if I'm there. But if I'm there, I'll say hi to you. If I'm not, I'll still say hi to you through this. Uh, so you'll see me in the chat if I'm there. If not, again, someone will take over things will be there, possibly on time, and no messing up, because when I come back, somebody's get fi gonna get fired if things are messed up. <laughs> Unless, you know, I'm not finishing up all the videos, which that's a possibility too. But uh, hopefully I will, and hopefully everything will stay in place until I come back. Um, don't stress about the videos being pre-recorded, you know, a month or two prior. Um, as I said from the beginning when I started, it's the intention of, you know, where I put it for that time that you're going to watch it. So uh, try to not get attached to, to timing for these things. Um, and yeah, I'll, uh, I'll uh, chat with you guys a little more and possibly talk to you guys a little more when I come back about about the situation i'm gonna miss my babies like crazy i don't even want to think about it i probably miss them already but uh i don't know i may cheat at some point and watch at least one of the fridays where i know they'll be on uh but uh yeah that was the the announcement the big announcement again i'm not gonna share much about this only that i'll be back and possibly with, you know, some new tools under my belt uh, that I may incorporate in the other channel, which is gonna be restructured sometime this year, I promise you. Uh, there's been a lot of holdbacks with a lot of things. Um, I'm not gonna blame Oscar for it, even though he's to blame. <laughs> no, uh, he's not to blame, but it's very hard when he's 100% dependent on me um, at his age and uh, it's not it's not difficult for me to step up and you know help him through everything he needs but uh, it takes you know it takes a toll so it's not leaving me with much time and focus to to get things going on the other side like I would want to and I don't want to show up halfway you know so I'm taking my sweet time with uh, whatever wants to show up. But this was important for me, so I needed to do it. Um, so we'll see when I come back, uh, what's going on around here. I'm gonna be nonstop sending healing energy to them, to you, to everybody, to me. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. Other than that, I don't know, hopefully we'll get to see them uh, 
in this video because if I do miss them by this time, which would be a uh, full night without them at this point, um, I can watch this video and then I'll be like, oh my god, yeah, if I can, if not. But I mean, sometime, sometime today, later on today, I'll get to where I need to be and then I'll be able to watch it if I'm not with you live in there. Um, so. So we'll get to it. So they gotta come here so that I see them. My well, baby's here. Right. Anyways, uh, yeah, current energies check ins for the weekend. Um, I'll be looking into each sign individually by elements, earth signs, fire signs, air signs, and water signs. It'll be quick to the point, no clarification, whatever comes out, comes out. Um, no extended for the Friday videos. I'll be looking into where you're at energetically in regards to another energy, where the other energy is at in regards to you. That other energy could be anything. It doesn't have to be, oh, the one. No. Can be that, but can be pretty much anything. Um, where the connected energies are at, and then I'll be pulling some cards from the universe for each of you. Timestamps will be below in the description box, in the comment section, on the play bar. Uh, they will not work properly until this video finishes uploading. The premiere of this video is not going to give you the, the perfect timestamps, you know, until it's done airing. And then when you watch it after that, um, they'll fall into place. So everything's going to be okay. Yeah. They're in play mode. But they're in play mode over there. Kai. He's looking for trouble. Okay. Um, roles can be reversed. I think that's it. I think that's it. Yeah. Let's do this. Uh, Earth signs. Capricorn. On your side, you get the Four of Pentacles, the Justice card, the Page of Wands. Really trying to balance things out here with, there's another energy that appears attached to you here. And really kind of trying to keep some sort of balance or bring some sort of balance within the situation. Which is telling me that you feel that things are not balanced. Otherwise, you wouldn't try this so much. You know, so definitely something's happening here where you're kind of trying to keep it all together here. Um, the energy attached to you, the Two of Pentacles, the Three of Cups, the Chariot. They're in a place of, I don't know, um, they're showing me um, a desire for love here, for coming together, for spending time together possibly. That's what's attached to their energy. Um, on the surface, they appear as if, I, I, I don't know what I want, I'm not sure how to go about things, you know, there's a little uncertainty there for some reason on their side. For the connection, the Temperance card, the Six of Wands, the Seven of Cups. I feel like things have been... have been feeling pretty good for the most part. Um, there's kind of like a, a need for change or... Uh, there's something going on here. There's something going on here. Because on the surface, it's like everything's fine here. Everything's, you know, there's a little bit of... I don't know about the situation here and there. I get the sense that there's some some underlayer kind of a energy to this, where something something's going on because there's a need for change here, almost. I don't know. Let's see what the universe has. Six of Wands, the Death card, the King of Cups. Yeah, it's it's looking like one of those things where everything feels right, everything feels normal until it's not anymore. You know, it's kind of like, yeah, we've had a good run at this, but that's it. We're done. 
And I'm not sure it's that, but it's very close to that that kind of an energy. And I'm like, then why is it showing up okay on the surface? What's there underneath that makes this look like, okay, we had fun here, goodbye. You know, kind of looks like that. So, I don't know, yeah, that's it. All right, moving on to Taurus. There's a really annoying energy here on your side, but let's see. Uh, on your side, the Nine of Swords, the King of Wands, the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, it's it's showing up quite annoying because it's like there appears to be someone and you're really hanging on tight to whoever this is and it bugs you. It's like, yeah, but I don't want it, but I am. Why the hell am I doing that? You know, kind of a thing. It's, it's, it's quite stressful. It's quite, you know, what the hell am I doing? Am I crazy? But I'm still doing it, but like, what does this mean you know kind of a thing I, I don't know i don't know what's up with this energy but you're you're pretty pissed off by this energy i mean i don't know i don't know what that means you're showing me another energy and you're like like gripping like crazy there and then like so i'm not sure uh pretty funny there but because i'm like you're hanging on to this you could just let it go right well, I can't. That's you know. That's the, that's what I'm getting from from this one, which again seems quite funny. I'm sure it's frustrating, but if you detach from it for a little bit, you'll probably see the humor in it. But uh, the energy attached to you, the King of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, the World card. There's an energy attached to you here that keeps on changing their mind. You know. Uh, they're showing up as I know what I want and I'm sure I want this and then they're like yeah no probably not probably not. I don't think I want this you know so they're very indecisive here very not standing still within this energy of knowing or not knowing wanting or not wanting it's very hard to catch them from one leg to see what the hell do you want you know but uh anyways for the connection the page of cups the queen of wands the magician all right, so there's, I mean, there's there's great manifestation at place here. There's that sense of, I really, really want this, you know, in energies at least. In in the physical, at least on this side, it's looking like a very wishy-washy kind of an energy. Like, you can't really rely on it. But energetically, I feel there's something there, you know, where there seems to be a match there seems to be uh let's open up to this let's share our energies in a beautiful way manifestation over it like crazy maybe that's why you're frustrated because they're showing up as eh, mm, eh, you know yeah let's do this and then yeah no, 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 probably not you know so maybe that's the frustration and you're like why am i hanging on to this because of the energies the energies are matching in a very beautiful way here so that's why. Uh, let me see what the universe has. Ooh, yoy, yoy. There's too many universe, and that's not a nice way to flip the cards. So let's do this properly. <laughs> that's why the shuffling of the cards feels very, like, edgy, like, for you of your frustration there all right so the universe is kind of revealing what the hell they want when they want something uh the king of swords the three of cups the ace of cups yeah they want to come together here in love they know exactly what they want you know the problem is they're kind of changing their mind and they're not changing their mind energetically the energy stays it's there you put it out there that's what you want it's kind of starting to roll in the energetic field 
because you say from a place of your own mind from who knows what fear and security or whatever oh no i don't want this that doesn't make it go away it's still here so yeah there's definitely a match here in love and passion and pretty much anything the mind is in the way yours and theirs more theirs than yours but because theirs is yours is too based on theirs you got that oh man all right that's it moving on to virgo felix Felix, as I said before, he's he's the one that always chooses a new spot in the house. And every time I get something new and I place it somewhere, it's his for the most part. And I got a, a little bench thing for shoes by the door there. And it has a pillow. And of course, he owns that now. And there's a scratcher for them right around the corner from that. And he scratches that pillow like a motherfucker. And I'm like, scratcher is right there, right there go to it and scratch it and he's like yeah no i'll do this instead he's the only one out of the three if you can believe it that scratches around the scratcher on couches on all sorts of things the other two go with the scratchers him there's always got to be that one and ironically in this house is the gentle giant but on your side, you get the Seven of Swords, the Page of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles. Alright, you're kind of looking at ways to, or learning ways to, I'm not sure if to move on from a situation or to gain some sort of independence here for yourself. It's kind of like you're learning a new process here. Again, either to move on or look at choices in which to create something for yourself. And I'm leaning more towards you not moving on, but creating some sort of an independent strike here, you know, your own little thing, rather than leaving a situation behind. Maybe you're doing that too, through this, I don't know. The energy attached to you, the Five of Cups, the Two of Wands, the Ten of Wands. Ooh, this is a heavy energy. Uh, a little bit on hold, a little bit on hold. I don't see them giving energy pretty much anywhere. I see them kind of... There's a little bit of them getting stuck in the past there. I don't know. There's, there's a, not much is happening here. I just see them kind of stuck in the past and feeling very, very heavy at this time. For the connection, the Hierophant, the Two of Pentacles, the King of Swords. All right. Yeah, there's a little bit of uncertainty to this. Like, is this going to stay together is this i don't feel like it's going to the point of questioning whether or not this stays together or not but it's very close to it um i'm not sure what's happening here i just see a distance here between you and this other energy but it's mostly because on your side you're kind of looking to do your thing you know kind of bringing the energies back towards you where you're kind of looking at options on what to do there what to do with yourself what to do with the situation possibly they're kind of on hold they're kind of like so i don't see any interaction here um necessarily but at, at the same time i'm not seeing it getting to the point of okay this is not working out goodbye forever kind of a thing you know and with the King of Swords, I kind of get the sense that the both of you are in the knowing of this. You know, you do your own thing, I do mine. Kind of sucks at this time, but you know what? Let's keep it this way until things can kind of break here. Because there's some energy that needs to be broken here. For things to, to, to flow a little more, to for something to happen. Because for now, nothing's happening. But uh, let's see what the universe has. Five of Swords, the Fool, the Ace of Wands. Uh, 
I mean, somebody wants to do something, but it's a freedom kind of an energy. It's a, it's a little bit of, I'll do whatever the hell I want, whenever I want. You know, you're kind of looking into that direction a little bit into possibly creating something for yourself in your, within your own independence and, you know, building on that. If you go to the extreme with fuck off, I don't if especially if you're attached to someone here even if the situation looks a little bit difficult right now you may fall into that extreme of i'll do whatever the fuck i want whenever i want so fuck off kind of a thing you know which could be quite sabotaging to yourself and then to the situation i'm not sure where things are but i'm not seeing them you know in pink clouds with unicorns right now i'm seeing a little bit of a rough patch here for the situation and you looking into your own sense of independence if you go to the extreme with it it might be damaging not only to you but to the situation so keep that in mind uh, that's it moving on to aries Aries again, we're having the same conversation over and over and over again. All right, so on your side, you got the Queen of Cups, the Devil, the Tower. There's something unhealthy attached to you here. I don't know what the hell it is. I don't even know if it's yours or if it's coming from the outside as an external energy to you. I have no idea, but it's surrounding you and it's been surrounding you for a minute because it keeps on showing up attached to you. It's almost like um, feeling that you have this great love for a situation and it's so pure and it's, so, and it's bullshit. It's not, it's unhealthy. So I'm not sure what this is about. Um, it feels like you're attaching yourself to an unhealthy pattern of love here. I have no idea how, I'm not clarifying, so I don't know. Hopefully these things come out through readings. Um, okay. For the energy attached to you, the Six of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, the Four of Cups. Huh? Uh, okay. Ah, uh, usually I see this as a, you know, putting yourself first kind of an energy. Usually it's healthy. I see the four of cups here and it's, it's leading me in another place. Um, so, okay, soul connection here. Focused on putting themselves first. Really upset with how things are going here. this is this putting themselves first or is this being selfish and then looking at this as oh it's not working out well i wonder why that's the thing that's the thin line here that i can't see if they crossed it towards selfishness you know there's again there's a big difference between putting yourself first and being selfish um and there's that thin line over there. And some people cross it and they still think they're in the putting themselves first energy. I don't know, because why would they be upset here? You know, I have no idea. I don't know, I can't tell. I can't tell, I don't want to accuse them of anything because I can't tell at this point if they cross the line. Uh, but if they're, if they're not crossing that line there, I mean, this is a healthy energy, you know, Focusing on yourself, putting yourself first there. They do show up in an energy of, I'm kind of upset where things are. And I would be too, honestly, with these energies flying around. So, okay. Uh, for the connection, the Five of Pentacles, the Temperance card, the Sun. It's been a long time since this connection saw happiness by the looks of it. There's something. You're either engaging with unhealthy 
things, whatever those are, that are blocking you from showing up in, you know, that pure love that you're showing me here. Um, that would make sense too, because if you're not loving yourself here, you're not going to match with this energy that actually loves themselves. So it would make sense that they're upset about that too. So I'm not sure, again, not sure if that's something attached to you as you doing these unhealthy things, which are not allowing for that pure love to come to the surface, or if they have something unhealthy attached to them and you can break it through. I don't know, I don't know what's going on there. You would have to be really honest with yourself in there. Let's see what the universe has. The Fool, the Queen of Cups, the Star. Yeah. Um, that's a very different energy of love and um, of wanting to show up from this love, you know? This is the very healthy energy of that. This is the uh, distorted energy of that. Showing up in that love that you carry. Showing up from your heart. This would be the end result. This is what you're wishing for. You're not there. You're at the opposite end of that. You're in the unhealthy energy of that, whatever that means. So whichever way love reflects outside of yourself might not show up as being healthy. Um, but you gotta really be honest with yourself here on this one, because this is your intention, the healthy way, you know, uh, which is beautiful. But I don't see it like that. So that's it. Moving on to Leo. show up like crazy in this reading shame on you showing up on your own reading uh anyways on your side you get the knight of pentacles the hierophant the page of pentacles you have such a slow energy to you and it's funny because when i see that attached to a fire sign especially leo because i'm one i'm like Ooh, that's a little scary but it feels good you know um you are attached to something very meaningful to you i don't know what it is it could be just about anything it doesn't have to be a person it could be a situation you're experiencing but it's very very meaningful to you and all of your energy is pouring into that but it's so smooth and so steady it's really nice you're kind of showing up as a student here almost learning something so it's really really nice here the way you're showing up here the energy attached to you, the Four of Wands, the Four of Cups, the Sun. Someone wants happiness here with Leo. And they're a little bummed out that they don't have that. Not only happiness, but commitment, all the good stuff. They're like, eh, well, Leo's not here to give me that. Because I feel like Leo's focused on something. It could be even this, but in a different way. In a different way. You know, almost like in a new way. So I don't know. For the connection, the Ace of Cups, the Strength card, the Three of Cups. Yep, somebody wants love. And ultimately, I feel like it's both energies that are seeking for that to happen. Uh, but definitely coming more from this side where someone wants Leo love, Leo sun, Leo happiness, Leo. You know. Sorry. Uh, let's see what the universe has. The Four of Cups, the Seven of Cups, the Seven of Swords. Yeah, someone's a little upset because I feel like Leo is busy someplace else, you know? I feel like this energy comes through and it's so strong and Leo's busy doing their own thing. 
you know, that again is very meaningful to them, but they're not necessarily paying attention to this. You know, I feel like they know that this energy is around, but they're not fully like, oh, okay, okay, I'll be right there with, you know, Leo. Leo, love Leo, son, Leo, everything. Um, no, they got their own thing going on. Uh, for now, for now. I'm not saying that this is not happening. I'm saying Leo's a little busy with something important to them. So that's it. Oops. Moving on to Sagittarius. Okay, uh, on your side, you get the Three of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles. You're kind of waiting for something to work out. Um, there's a partnership you're looking at, but you're kind of like, come on, come on, pick it up. Let's go, let's go, let's go. You know, I don't feel like you're rushing it, but you're kind of waiting for something to, to kind of work out, to build up in this situation. And for now, it's not. Um, the energy attached to you, the sun, the two of wands, the ten of wands. Yeah, you're kind of dealing with an energy that is exactly that. Waiting for that better day to get something done. Just, it's almost looking like you're waiting for them to wait to find something that works for them or something like that. Um, it's that kind of a person maybe that says... Yeah, I can do that, uh, but you know, it's got to align in that way and in that way, and you know, one day I'll I'll get it done. You know, the one day I'll get it done kind of a energy here, and because they're waiting for that one day, it feels like you're waiting for them, kind of a thing, and n nothing's really working for now because the both of you are ultimately waiting for that one day. For the connection, the hangman, the knight of swords, the ten of swords, yeah. If nobody's going to do anything about anything here, this is not going to go anywhere. This is actually on hold as it is. If nobody starts moving and just waiting for that one day, that one day looks like it's not necessarily going to be here. Because, you know, nobody has that one day. We have now. You're going to do something about it or not. And for now, it's looking like not. So... Let's see what the universe has. The King of Swords, the Knight of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles. I mean, the both of you want for this to work out. I don't even know what this is, but I see energies from both looking into doing something together here. You know, something stable, something good for the both of you. The intention is that the energies are definitely going in that direction. Physically, I don't see any movement. Maybe there is the need to to wait, you know, in this situation. Maybe. Who knows? But for now, nothing is moving. So I, I love the intentions and I love the the common idea of stability here, you know, that the both of you are pursuing, and maybe, yeah, maybe it is a matter of timing. You know, maybe for now, not really, but later, who knows? Okay, that's it. Moving on to air signs, Libra. Hold on. All right. 
let's do this. Uh, had to assist Oscar. Let's see, Libra. Something didn't work out. Uh, on your side, you get the death card, the star, the four of wands. Yeah, I, I kind of get the sense that, I mean, there's an energy of an ending here attached to you and you're kind of giving me the sense that it's something that you want. Uh, I'm not sure if at a conscious level, you know, if you decided, okay, I'm done with this or it's something that your soul kind of knows, okay, this is done right here. But there's a lot of healing on your side over the situation. So something really didn't necessarily work out here uh for the energy attached to you the eight of cups the two of wands the high priestess this energy has been emotionally disconnected for quite a while and they know that they're aware of that but it's almost like i don't know if they don't want to connect back to their hearts or uh, it's very hard for them to do so at this time uh because it's almost like a conscious choice i'm not going to invest in this emotionally anymore that's it, you know? So I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's going on, but it's looking like they've been disconnected here for, for, for a little bit. Uh, for the connection, the Ten of Wands, the Ten of Swords, the Five of Cups. Yes, yeah, something happened that brings in these energies of, that's it. We draw the line here. We can't really work with these energies anymore because they're not looking great for either one of us. So that's about it. That's, uh, you know, dead end for this one. So... Yeah, there could be an ending to a situation here. Uh, let me see what the universe has. To um, close it off for you. The star, the hangman, the knight of pentacles. It almost looks like you're kind of letting it play out. Um, in terms of, I don't even know if someone made the decision or, you know, kind of brought it to the surface. Because the decision is definitely made possibly on your side more than on theirs um, of an ending here. But I don't know if it's been brought up. It almost kind of looks like you're kind of letting it fade out in this situation. Or maybe that's the plan. I don't know. Because nobody's moving anymore here. Nobody's giving energy to this. Nobody's going, f you know, further away from this either. But yeah, almost looking like I'm just going to let it die out. So I don't know. This is what that's it. All right, moving on to Aquarius. Alright, so on your side, you get the Nine of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles. You got great stable energy right here. You know, you're looking like you can take on anything at this time. It's looking like you're in this very powerful, self-sufficient almost kind of an energy. You know, I can do anything I set my mind to. I can do this, that, and the other. And you look like you have all the available tools to do pretty much anything. Um, at least in the way you feel. The cats are in play mode, which is going to be a shit show because it's all three of them. They're not coming here with that, but I may hear some banging. So, um, anyways, the energy attached to you, the seven of pentacles, the world card, the tower. Um, there's a stuck energy here. 
Uh, you got the way you're showing up energetically is this flow. You know, you move forward. You've got all of the tools again to to kind of move forward, to kind of create a brand new energy out of that, and just go with it and flow with it. They're looking a little like flowing up to this point, and then reaching that place of almost panic. Like I, there's nowhere else to go, or there's plenty else to go, but from here, for some reason, they're they're either stopping themselves or. Uh, there's a little bit of a, again, almost like a panic mode for them. So I'm not sure if this is someone you're working with or someone by your side. But it kind of looks like they're stuck, you know, for now. Uh, for the uh, connection here, you get the High Priestess, the Ten of Pentacles, the Five of Cups. Hmm. It's almost like in the connection, I'm seeing exactly what I described, your energy versus theirs. You know, one is flowing with the intuition of things, one is flowing with how the energies are taking them and flowing with that and it feels, you know, pretty good, while the other is kind of stuck. I'm trying to figure out what this is because I can't see the connection here. Uh, I do see both energies going in the same direction, but one of them stopping here because they're stuck while the other proceeds. You know, so it's like this one, in order to catch up with this other one, they need to get themselves unstuck. And what's keeping them stuck is possibly a pattern, possibly something they keep on doing, um, repeating the same patterns where there's a limit to what they're doing. It's kind of like a limiting belief where it's stopping them on their track where they could definitely proceed but they got to work on this situation right here i have no idea what this is but um let's see what the universe has the seven of swords the knight of wands the seven of cups it's one of those situations where two energies are going in the same direction, but because one is stuck, the other one can't really stop and wait for them. Uh, it doesn't feel fair to either of the energies, you know, to the one that has the flow, nor to the one that stopped. It's, it's kind of like the both of you are in this unspoken agreement. You know, if I get stuck, you keep on going kind of a thing. And then the energy that keeps on going kind of wants to stop to help them out, but is aware that no, they gotta they gotta deal with this shit on their own. I'll see them over there when they get unstuck. It's kind of looking like that, you know. So I don't know what the hell this is. I see one energy going, one energy stopping, and then the options of moving forward for both energies. I love it when I don't understand shit from these. Like, what could this be? Could this be like a business partnership or love situation or marriage or pretty much anything? So, who the hell knows? Friendship. I don't know. But uh, moving on to Gemini. On your side, you get the Page of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands. You're in a beautiful energy right here. You're learning a lot about, and I mean, you're in this energy of self-love, you know, putting yourself first, taking care of yourself a little more. Uh, and it feels like you're learning as you go with this energy. And it feels great. It feels beautiful. You know, there's a sense of confidence with it. There's good times here for you in the way you look at yourself, in the way you... Um, you know, kind of work with yourself through this energy. It's looking beautiful. Now, 
the energy attached to you, the Four of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords, the Ten of Swords. You got a little bit of a stubborn energy here pointing at you or, you know, kind of keeping an eye on you there or there's something. There's their energy headed straight towards you. I don't know what they want, but uh, they're very stubborn about it too. Like, and uh, I'll knock at Gemini's door until Gemini answers. You know, with this kind of an energy that you're under, you're going to attract all sorts of energy. So I'm not sure what this is. The problem with this one is not even their stubbornness, even though that's, you know, a small issue there. But um, is the fact that they're bringing an energy of failure with them. So it's like as stubborn as they are to approach pretty much anything that speaks to them. That's how big the energy of, yeah, I'm probably going to fail at this anyway shows up to attach to them so possibly they don't even know they have it uh with them and that might create all sorts of failures along the way for them for the connection the nine of swords the king of swords the devil plus a very controlling energy you know because if their subconscious tells them they're going to fail at this they're going to try whatever they can to not fail at this. And that's when control steps into play. So even though they're not showing up too controlling in the beginning, they might actually break into that energy more and more. There's a controlling energy at play here. And I'm seeing more attached to this side than on yours. You're doing your own thing. You're in your own la-la land with your own butterflies and unicorns. You're doing great there. As this energy approaches you, and knocks at your door, you're probably eventually going to answer, you know, because there's too many knocks there with that stubbornness there. Um, it's not... Uh, it's not a bad energy. The problem is if they don't see what's attached to them and they don't work on that, it could develop into who knows the hell what. And I see here a very unhealthy controlling kind of an energy that it could lead to if this stays unaddressed, this fear of things, you know, them failing at something or, you know, there's something attached to them big time. Um, so it could turn into all sorts of things here, one of them being control, so, which is not looking great. It's not looking great, but let's see what the universe has. The Page of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, the Seven of Wands. Interesting, because you're showing me kind of a lesson to be learned kind of an energy, where you're looking at this experience as maybe a lesson, you know? Not all things that look good on the surface are necessarily great, you know? Because uh, you're kind of showing me, you're looking at an energy, it looks good, everything's fine in there in the way that it shows up, and it it kind of does, especially with this persistence. It's kind of like, okay, you know, they're so persistent. Maybe there's something to this. Um, but instinctually, there's a rejection to it. There's a little bit of stay back, keep your distance kind of a thing. So always listen to yourself. And it's not the, ooh, I knew there was a red flag there because I created it with my perception. No, it's your intuition that's going to kick you. It's going to tell you, hey, watch it here. There's something in here, you know? Not your mind. Your mind is going to come up with all sorts of things from its own, you know, backdrop of fear and whatever's being found in there. Uh, it's within that you feel these red flags, you know, not what your mind creates. So there's something in here that tells you that, you know, and a little bit of a lesson in it. Not everything that looks pretty is actually pretty. So pay attention to those things, especially to this one. And I don't know what this is to you but um uh, you know they gotta work on their shit that's the bottom line in order for this to work out but uh moving on to water signs pisces
On your side, you get the Nine of Swords, the Ten of Wands, the Page of Pentacles. You're stressing about something here. It's almost looking like you're dealing with something and it's a little bit tough. It's a little, you know, but the stress you put on it is bigger than the situation itself, which makes it look more complicated than it is. You know, you're giving it too much attention from this space, from this confusion, rather than just kind of being with it and taking it. Because I see you trying to look at this as, you know, a lesson you're going to learn from, an experience you, even if it's tough at times or not so tough at times, kind of taking it in as, what do I have to learn from this? But you're stressing so much about it that it's creating an extra energy over it. It's kind of like, it looks tough. It looks, you know, at times it looks like mm, here and there, not that great, but it's not as complicated as you make it look from here when you kind of complicate the situation. And it's going to create a lot of heaviness for you where you're not going to see clearly the lesson that you're supposed to learn from this, which I don't know what the hell that is, but there's something here. Uh, the energy attached to you, the five of cups, the eight of pentacles, the ace of cups. All right, this energy might hang on to the past a little too much, which is going to prevent them from showing up, you know, in the present uh, under healthy energies. They might pick up some past energies here if they're stuck there, but their intention is good. They want for things to work out. They want a brand new beginning here. There's love in there that they desire. The problem is, what's the problem? What's the problem? problem is Kai is sitting on your cards. The problem is I don't see them recognizing that um, at times they're stuck in the past, you know, um, which is not necessarily allowing them to step into the present as much as they want these new energies here. So for the connection, the two of pentacles, the four of swords, the devil, someone shows up a lot in the energy of I don't know in the energy of instability, in the energy of one foot in, one foot out, one day here, one day not, kind of a thing. At this point, I don't know which one it is. It could be either one of you with the energies you're presenting here, you know? That makes the situation very unhealthy. It's kind of like neither of you can set on one energy. There's this back and forth, this, continua, this continuous back and forth about this whole situation. You know, so there needs to be some balance here. There needs to be some grounding of energies and some stability within yourselves individually first. And then it's going to play out within the connection. Uh, but find that for yourself. I feel like step one for you would be to balance yourself out. That would lower the intensity that's going on here. That's complicating things, you know. Um, let's see what the universe has. The Five of Swords, the Seven of Cups, the Justice card. You're just telling me right now from the universe, well, the universe is kind of giving you away because you're like, I am balanced. I'm good. They're to blame. They're not balanced. Um, no, you're actually rejecting balance here, you know? And it's quite deceptive because, again, you think you are balanced. You think you're good. There's something within your energy that's overcomplicating things. If this is you, because this could be them. But both of you have something there in terms of if this is not you, you're here, which you're stuck in the past then. You know? You're still doing something, but there's a there's a, a sense of rejection over balance here. And I see that through the reading, because that's the first thing I said. You need to balance yourselves out individually. There's like, no, 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 we're good here. And I don't think you feel you're good. I feel like you feel these energies as heavy as this is not working out. You know, it's all over the place if you think about it. But for some reason, someone is lying to themselves here and telling themselves, uh, I mean, we're good, we're stable, we're balanced, you know. I don't know who that is. It could be them. But, I don't know. Work on that balance. And work on that individual balance. Don't try to balance out the connection until you balance yourself out. Because if you're unbalanced and they're unbalanced, how are you going to balance the connection? You can't. So that's it. What are you doing, tiger? What are you doing, tiger? What are you doing, brother boy? 
right, moving on to Scorpio. Wait, you want to play with my cards? You can't. Scorpio's playing with the cards now. Scorpio. On your side, you get the Hierophant, the Ten of Wands, the Six of Wands. What's up with uh, water signs in balance here? Because it feels like, you know, there's something, there's possibly a connection here that's important to you. And I feel like it's very hard to keep it balanced. Uh, it's very hard to, to fall into that place of equal give and take and to, to just keep it steady and balanced here. I feel like that's your goal here, but it's looking like it's pretty hard at this time to keep it that way. So, uh, the energy attached to you, the Queen of Swords, the Eight of Wands, the Sun. Ooh. My way or the highway, kind of an energy. Well, um, it's kind of like they have the last word. It's, it's like, in order for us to be happy, it has to happen in this way. And that's it, that's the only way. But I have a suggestion, no. Did I ask you? No. That's how it's going to happen. Because that's how happiness is created from a place of, yeah, we'll make it happen this way and we'll be happy. Both of us. I'll vouch for you. <laughs> no, it doesn't work like that. But I like the I like the, the attitude here of, you know, I don't like the control aspect of it, but I like the perseverance and the determination of, I'm going to make this happy. All of it. I'm going to make you happy. I'm going to make me happy. Everybody's going to be happy because I say so. Okay. Uh, for the connection, the Nine of Cups, the Four of Cups, the Seven of Cups. Somebody's not happy. <laughs> Somebody's like, okay, if you say so, but, you know, that's not how that works, so I'm not happy. So there's definitely an energy of very hard to deal with. And almost leading to a point of, I don't want to deal with this anymore. You know, and I, I get the sense that that's you. But I don't see you going necessarily because this, again, this looks like it's quite meaningful and you're trying. Um, but if this energy doesn't lay off the, you know, my way or the highway aspect, you're not going to have a say in how you'll be happy, basically. Which is kind of out there. But uh, yeah, let's see what the universe has. King of Swords, Hangman, the Emperor. Yeah, you're stagnant here. You're very much on a... Po you're not responding very well to the situation. I don't think any normal human being would. I don't think they would respond well if they were dealing with the same kind of an energy. You don't. You know? So it's like... You're almost on your own little strike. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to respond to this. You want me to be happy according to your rules? Probably not. You know, I got my own rules for my own happiness, you know. Uh, so you're, you're pretty much stagnant here. You're pretty much on pause. Okay. Um, all right. Well, that's it. Moving on to Cancer. On your side, you get the Page of Swords, the Magician, the Strength card. You're manifesting something here. It's something quite powerful, quite strong. Uh, you are starting to head in the direction of your manifestation, which is telling me the universe is responding to this. It's just going to take a little bit because you're in the Page of Swords, which is telling me 
you're just starting to head in the same direction as your own manifestation. So it's a matter of meeting halfway with it. Um, cool. I don't know what you're manifesting, but it, it looks pretty big for you. So um, the energy attached to you, the Ace of Pentacles, <laughs> the Tower, the Knight of Swords. This looks like one of those energies that I always look at and I'm like, oh, you know, um, you know, rooting for the underdog here. There's definitely a, a little bit of, um, like their intention is to start something great, something, something here. Uh, it feels like every time they, they try, it kind of blows up in their face, like a goofy kind of an energy a little bit, like they mess up, but they mess up out of something like ridiculous, something, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it, because it's not, they're not doing it because they don't know how to do it, they do it out of almost like they're trying too much or something like that, you know, the intention is great, the intention is let's get this going, let's get this party started, let, let, let's create something beautiful here, you know, but the way they approach it, it feels like, oh my god, what the hell did I just do? You know? It looks a little bit like that. Which is, again, I, I respond to these kinds of things when I see that one. Oh, come on, come on, you can do this. Come on, try again, you know, kind of a thing. So I don't know. I don't know what this is, but... Uh, for the connection, the Hermit, the Temperance card, the Seven of Pentacles. I feel like in time with, you know, patience and work on this situation which i don't know what it is for you i feel like it's gonna work out you know in the in the connection it looks like it but it needs time it needs patience probably for this energy to pick it up and you know try it until they they kind of get in that place and yeah it looks like a good energy i i'm not sure what it is exactly it looks new it looks new to you but it's it's heading somewhere you know if it's allowed time and patience here um, let's see what the universe has to close it off. Oh, this is what this is. Six of Cups, King of Wands, Six of Wands. Yeah, this situation could definitely go places. Definitely a soul connection. And don't stress about the meaning of that. It could be a friendship. It could be a, a lifelong partnership of some sort. It could be love. It could be pretty much anything. You know, so soul family means a lot to to this. But whoever this is, I feel like they're this king of wands and they're going to show up. Their true potential is going to be revealed. For now, it's kind of looking like they're stumbling a little bit. Like, you know, they're, they're looking like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's that kind of a, either they're nervous or they, they think they don't got it, you know, handled. Whatever it is they're trying here. There's a little bit of a, you know, um, stumbling energy to it, but they got potential here. And again, with time and patience, I feel like things are going to work out in a very positive way here for the situation. So that is it. That's what I got for you guys. Thank you to Kai for showing up. Now, all we need to do is in the time that I'm gone is for all of these babies to show up so that I see them and then I don't miss them anymore or I shall look for past videos in which I know that I can see them. So you guys stay well. As I said, even though I'm not here, I'm here. Keeping an eye on you and my energy on you. Uh, Allison is gonna be here for the most part through pretty much everything. Hopefully, if she has any kinds of emergency or anything, you're on your own. Take care of things. <laughs> uh, but no, she'll probably. And as I said, I'll have um, someone, for the most part, um, posting the videos. And you know, probably not as not as good as me, because you know. But uh, that was the Leo speaking. The, I'm so good at my job that. Uh, no, I'm probably not, but I have a system and, you know. Um, but anyways, love you guys, miss you guys. That's Kai. He went to tear out the house because he's in play mode and in food mode probably, so they gotta eat. And, um, I shall see you next time, which is, you know, 
either tomorrow or two days. I I'm not sure, but it's not two months. Well, I I'll see you, really see you then, but I'll see you until then on a daily basis, I think, or pretty much the, the same, the same. We'll keep it at the same schedule. So anyways, <laughs> uh, love you guys. Thanks for watching and hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.